hey so what's going on guys make sure we drag the reviews and welcome back to another video so in this video we're going to be working on the cifero so right here i have the works boost controller this is a manual boost controller so i'll be installing it in uh, this car the reason being because the boost controller that came with this car i'm not sure whether it's working or not it seems to be plugged in and all connected but the controller itself uh, has no light and the screen is like broken so that's the reason why i wanted to get a manual boost controller is because i want to know what figures i'm boosting at and on top of that the zd gauge that actually came with this car is pretty much trash feels like a china replica to me so i'll be changing that out as well but not today today we're just going to be focusing on how to install the works boost controller because to be honest this is my very first time installing a boost controller but i heard this is pretty easy to install and the hoses are already plugged in and uh, the basically the setup is just there i just have to remove the solenoid that is currently uh, in the engine bay and replace it with this manual boost controller so just to keep things safe since i do not have a uh, reading on my boost pressure I will be setting it at the stock boost which is around 0.5 bar I heard this car can go up to 1.4 uh, even on like a stock engine but it's not recommended uh, just to ensure the longevity of the engine so maybe I will just tweak it slightly uh, in the days to come uh, as I test it but I just want to ensure that the problem is solved because I do want to know uh, roughly what I'm boosting I do not want to damage the engine uh, prematurely alright so let's move on with the install of the works boost controller okay guys so in typical drag tech reviews fashion we do have to do the mandatory unboxing so i've already opened like the plastic to actually check the item out so we do have the controller itself of course very nice and heavy weight we do have a mounting screw for the bottom right here and also we do have a plate to mount it to the engine bay so uh, these two things are pretty self-explanatory uh, whereas on the other hand this is something that I had to even call works about because this is non-directional which means that it can go either way so normally boost controllers are directional if you buy like turbo smart or other brands uh, they do have a direction one in and one out so I'm not really sure on uh, this design but I'm pretty okay with works products so that's the reason I just went ahead and just purchased it so you can see the construction is all solid metal on this is very hefty in fact we do have some um, screws here i'm not sure what these are for we do have some works branding and we do have the dial on the front so you can actually spin it around let me see lower it's here and then higher it's here you can actually turn it's very stiff which is good which is good i like it stiff anyway so it doesn't like uh go out of the setting so very nice and very solid construction so basically that's about it for the unboxing it's pretty straightforward you can actually see through the clear plastic the cling film so let's uh get this baby installed guys so you can see this install is pretty easy the hoses are already all installed so what i had to do is remove the old solenoid which was right here this is the blitz spc and replace it with the works manual boost controller so it's 
basically very simple one is out from the turbo and another goes into the wastegate you can see right there one from the turbo out to this and then another one goes into the wastegate so very simple install uh, if you are using a standard setup you might need to cut the hose and then you join it to the boost controller in order to control your boost so basically what this boost controller does is it controls the flap in the turbo so the higher the boost the flap will not open so easily that's how you increase the boost in your turbo so basically it's a very layman explanation on how a boost controller works so guys i hope this video was informational to you guys and uh, if you have any questions or comments do drop it right below this video and sub to this channel for more content just like this one of course i will have some driving videos regarding this later on once i installed my boost gauge so i have to get a boost gauge to actually know how much i'm boosting and uh basically that's about it for this video thanks guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next one